Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I want to give a PvP tip and also some armor tip for PvP rogues and also pushing Nightmare Dungeon tier 85 and above. So regarding PvP, uh, as you can see here, I did some PvP sessions and I consistently killed two Hammer of the Ancient Barbarians and also one um, Stealth Rogue. Uh, consistently, as you can see here, I'm Technet, and these are the Chinese and Korean players. So I consistently killed them, and I killed them pretty easily. As you can see here, the Hammer of the Ancient Barbarian is is you know slaughtering the other players, but against me, he stood no chance. So the way I did it is that for stealth rogues, you wait for them to conceal and then open up on you, and after they open up on you, they will daze you. So you pop. Shadow Clone immediately and pop Dark Shroud if you do not have Dark Shroud up already and then you immediately pop Poison Trap and Poison Imbuement and start DPSing on him so at that point it's a it's a matter of whose DPS is better and usually it's yours so as you get damaged by the rogue you can also pop Dark Shroud to to refresh it so that you take less damage but the main source of damage from that stealth and concealment rogue is usually the poison imbuement so you would also want to pop your pots like, like really consistently to live through the uh the poison so that's about it usually you will win against conceal rogues because usually they do not have shadow clone which is a really big boost in dps and they usually put points into concealment a lot to allow them to critical strike chance on you and usually you know they they want to like like this countering stuff here they want to one shot you with their stealth build which is kind of good against hota but sometimes it's also not good against hota as well since hota could you know um get get fortified and get permanent unstoppable for a few seconds so Concealment, I think it's a really bad build for PvP. I don't know why it's so popular, but this build that I have counters it. And also for Hammer of the Ancient Barbarians, it's the same thing. Uh, you wait for them to pop on you while you have Dark Shroud. So make sure you have Dark Shroud before you engage them. And also make sure you have Shadow Clone before you, you, you engage them. So after they pop on pop on you, you immediately use Shadow Clone and again Poison Trap, Poison Imbuement and just go hammer on him and refresh your Dark Shroud whenever you feel you need to, maybe around 2 seconds later uh, into the fight. And this Barbarian here, this Chinese Barbarian here who's killing all these players, he was running away from me after his initial burst was was not enough to kill me so i had to chase him down but he was so fast that i couldn't chase him but i killed him two times well two to three times and that was when he you know manned up and was 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 you know fighting me to teeth um like like face to face and not wanting away and one of them was because i was i was gathering uh, and submitting the, the currencies so he didn't want to run away and he wanted to kill me uh but he failed uh, as you can see here, uh, what, where is it? Uh, yeah, he, he got killed by me here, and he got killed by me here. So he got killed by me two times, and several times he was running running away from me. It's just that his build is, is not very good. Like Hota, it's not very good. Like it's good against newbies, but against like like rogues who have my build, like it's really easy to take care of them. So that's my build update. Um, so. This is the PvP tip, and regarding armor, armor you would want lower armor for PvP, but against Nightmare Dungeon tier 85 and above, you would definitely want at least 9,000 armor. The reason being is that at 85% damage reduction in this tooltip, armor does not have any significance anymore. But this is because at, over here, I'm the tooltip is basing the the enemy on. The fact that they are level 100 so it's 42 percent here against level 100 enemies if it's at around 8,000 to 9,000 it's around 80 to 85 percent so that's the cap for this level level 100 but against nightmare dungeon tier 85 and above they go up to like 135 level like level 135 onwards like upwards of that level so the cap for the armor goes up to like 14,000 for the 85 percent 
the reduction in this tooltip. So you would want at least 9,000 armor on your rogue from your paragon tree plus helm, chest, pants, and amulets. So you want armor substat on helm, chest, pants, and amulet to reach 9,000 armor plus your paragon tree for an extra armor. So that's about it. Um, it's really important to have the stat and I would argue it's even more important than damage reduction if you're pushing higher up in tier 85 and above. And I was able to consistently tank 85 uh, with my armor build which had like 8,400 armor. So you can definitely maybe be able to do 90 or above if you have like 9,000 to like 9,500. So yeah, uh, just a quick video on PvP and armor and I'll see you on the next one.